This is my Genoni. Here's another edition of Good, Bad, Disappointing. This is the last one for the year, so let's see what we got. The Good is Injustice, Gods Among Us, uh, year four, annual number one. Now, this is not what I would consider like the should be the greatest end year of the year comic, but it was decent. You know, it's a story of Plastic Man's kid. He's in the middle of a rebellion type thing on the wrong side, and he gets thrown into jail. And Plastic Man tries to get him out. He first tries to, you know, be nice about it. And since the superheroes say no, he breaks into prison and um, inadvertently frees all the villains as well as the uh, captured Green Lanterns. I thought the art was good. Plastic Man was entertaining. And basically this is just the story to start off the next uh, year. That way we are not bogged down with... Okay, this is what happened, and then we get to the story. So, for that, I can appreciate it. Overall, I enjoyed it. Taylor did a great job. The art's great. Um, I don't really have anything to complain about it. So, it was pretty good. The Bad. Carnage. Here's the deal with Carnage. You know, this was brought up as, hey, you know, we're going to have this big battle. Only one person can take down Carnage, and that's Man-Wolf. And let me just tell you, this fight between Manwolf and Carnage was just uninspiring. You know, yeah, Manwolf was winning for most of the fight, but it just was really, really lame. And, you know, the thing with Manwolf is he's got the gem on his chest. So all I was thinking was, geez, you know, all you need to do is just take the gem off and, oh, yep, Carnage just did that. So that kind of just ended that. Now, I mean, the art is still great, but this fight was just such a letdown that I don't know if I'm going to want to continue the next issue. I Now, once we get to the very end of the story, we I understand why this fight didn't end like in, in um, a victory for Manwolf, because Manwolf was just this build-up to this way, get people jumping and interested. You know, they can use the copyright for the character by saying, hey, you know, we, we used them. And um, the real part of the push of the story is after that. But to me, it was just, eh, who cares? You know, I can save myself some money the next issue. And the disappointing, and that's Batman Europa 3 or 4. Now, here's the deal. I'm not disappointed in that I'm calling this book not really a well-written book. Um, or even the art. The art is fantastic. I mean, the Joker is really horrific at times. Really scary. Um, the art is is good. You know, it's it's really good at times. It, you know, look at that Joker. I mean, that's just you know, like that makes you afraid. But the problem is with me, for me at least, there's no consistency in the art, and you're going from one extreme to the next extreme in terms of styles. So it's hard for me to stay rooted into the story when it's just drastically different each and every time and it pulls me out of the story you got to get used to the art style again and then when you get to the next issue it's changed again uh, just just imagine what the trade would be like where one the, at a turn of a page you're going to go from uh, one extreme to the next which is a shame because I you know I, I just wish they stuck with one and went with the one but anyways, that's my disappointing for the week. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Let me know what your good, your bad, or your disappointing is. And we'll have some more videos later. So until next time.